I must say I'm slightly shocked by the story of uh, Peter and Ruth Jaffe and uh, their trip to France by Ryanair. And when they got to the airport, they realized they'd printed the wrong ticket because they were confused. And the staff at Ryanair were happy to send them over to another desk at the other side of the airport. Uh, Mr. Jaffe is disabled. And when they got there, they were charged £55 per print for a sort of one-minute print, and or less than a minute print, of course. It's sort of outrageous, the, the, the idea of caring for the customer, the idea of uh, putting, putting your life in their hands, literally, when you're flying. And then they were also charged some extra fee for an extra seat or something so that they could sit together. Uh, because Mr. Jaffe has this disability. I, it is simply shocking that a, that an organization which calls itself, quote, a budget airline is raking in so much money simply to provide the basic, uh, the, the basics, simply to provide the basics. No extras here. This is to provide the basics. So if you can't use the system, then the system isn't working. And you know, I, I certainly, um, I certainly make make mistakes on the computer, and I use computers literally all the time. Uh, you know, if I'm not making YouTube videos, I'm animating, or I'm teaching on Zoom, or I'm writing. I'm using them all the time, and yet, the sort of imperious demands which are made by these sites selling tickets, selling whatever, and the confusion which it creates, and then the gap between when you've paid and when you actually get the receipt. So you think, oh, something's gone wrong, and you're pressing ridiculous keys, and of course, effectively cancelling what you've just done. Uh, I mean, it's it, it's nonsensical. The um, my, my, my bugbear, really, is train line, and you buy a ticket, and by the time you've got through all the nonsense, uh, the, the, the ticket date is the following date. So I can remember a number of times I've tried buying a ticket on the train line at sort of 11.30. By the time I've got through the process, it's it's gone midnight, and what I thought was a ticket for the next day then turns out to be a ticket for the next day. And so I, I bought a ticket for the Thursday as opposed to the Wednesday, simply because the clock has moved. And you know you don't you don't automatically check. You arrive at the station and you have to get another ticket. You can't get that train line ticket refunded because it's not enough to justify the refund, apparently. So they're raking it in because of. Very simple, and I would have thought quite common mistakes, quite common errors. And uh, I think we need we we need to ask you. You know, are, are these systems these systems are designed to be complex? They're designed to be confusing, and they're designed to upset people. I think that's the only conclusion we can draw, because things could be so much more straightforward. A shame on you, Ryanair. If anyone's travelling by Ryanair, de-travel. Go some. Go with someone else.